on to part two of Eric Muffins. She's been meaning to do this for a long time, but hasn't gotten the chance until now, so she dies like gags in her basement, forcing her to, was forcing him to hear her rant to no end, while Julian Sanders' panda who was excluded from the karaoke party, puts wrapped down Andrew with rubber's pants. All Lord Froggy can do is scream like the little girl he is, but lo and behold, here's fist sticks. But Gina Beck in all her amazing glory saves the puppies from a fire, from a fire started by Robert Englund's fandom after his switch to turn on all those dang candles in the lair went haywire. Of course, he had insurance, but it wasn't enough to cover the damage done to Gina Beck's Christine wig, so he had to become her manslave in order to pay off his debts. Too bad he didn't have enough of that plastic surgery he'd been planning on, which was orchestrated by the doctor from Eyes Without a Face. But then Rosie and Don became really annoyed with the muffin stud, so in order to put a stop to it, they, put, they post a reply on the thread that Gallers Rock says it must be finished, so Rosie decides to finish it, and all she has to do is send a few more words, and then a period! This has been a reading of the entire Eric Muffins. Hope you enjoy it. I also want you to check out my video of bathing beauty in its true form. You won't be sorry. I have one last order of business for you.